to the Future Chicken Today Show. I'm Circuitry, time twisting you to the year 2050. And now, introducing our host, Potato and Frittata! Hello, I'm... And I, Rocket Pants, the trousers of tomorrow. <clears throat> And I'm Frittata. Boy, do we have a great show. Today's guest from your time is wildlife protector Anishwar Kunchala. We can't wait to... Incoming! Oh, oh no. Oh, potato! Retreat! Hey there, planet protectors! Frittata, doesn't this just scream superhero? By my calculation, it screams I pull the muscle. Aww. So not the look I was going for. Uh, what look are you going for? You know, the superhero kind where I fly faster than the speed of light. Uh, physically, that's not possible. Chickens weren't meant to fly far because of their body build. Ah! And at light speed, you would lose all your feathers. I just want to be like the superheroes in my comics. They're always saving the day. Mm-hmm. I hear you, Tater Girl. We all got a branch. Out. <laughs> I'd like to branch out of here. But how can I be a superhero with superpowers when I'm just a chicken? Uh, gee, Potato, if only we knew an expert on animal superpowers. <gasps> the one, the only, Anishwar Kachala! I love Anishwar! His passion for wildlife is beyond the beyond. He expresses his love through his poetry and paintings, activism. And he believes that all animals have superpowers, even chickens. Circuitry, let's time twist Anishwar to the future. Start! Time twister portal opening in three, two, one. Hi, Potato. Hi, Frittata. Hi, Anishwar. Hello, and thanks for joining us on the Future Chicken Today Show. Can you tell us how you connected to nature at four years old? So it all started when my teacher showed me a picture of a whale which was dead because of plastic pollution. I really felt sorry for it. But then, a couple of years later, something warm happened. I met a little chick, which I called Reggie, and he was an absolutely warm, hearty little chick. <laughs> he learned to fly when we had just some time with him, and we got lots of snaps, and I even got to hold him. He was perfect. He was so pure. Aww. I think it's so important for us to all have compassion for all the creatures on Earth. Something that we have a hope to change our world and make it better for all animals, just like you. Wow. And you see all animals as amazing creatures, don't you? Definitely. What is amazing about animals? Well, it's that they have their very own superpower, just like chickens. <gasps> wow. What is a chicken superpower? Well, it is that they're really fast birds with super fast feet. <gasps> and they are perfect <gasps> egg layers. <laughs> Speaking of superpowers, what kind of superhero powers would a chicken like me, Potato, have? Well, maybe it is being the perfect composter because you know what comes in must come out, right? Oh, gross. And that thing that comes out the other end actually is great fertilizer, you know. So you are a living, walking, singing composter. What? <laughs> That's your big superpower. And your second one is that you're perfect at flying. And you can fly under high branches and look out for anything that might harm the planet. Oh. What is your favorite animal? Pelican falcons are my top favorite because of their super speed. They are the fastest animals on the planet. Whoa. If a falcon were a planet protector, what would its name be? How about Glide? Oh, yeah. I love it. Glide the falcon. Wow. I can't believe Anishwar connected to the heart of a whale at age four. That does not compute. It's a figure of speech, Rocket Pants. It means Anishwar observed the whale, connected to it, and was inspired to protect wildlife. Fascinating. Because of his gift for connecting with animals and people, he was a finalist on Britain's Got Talent, and he made it into the Guinness Book of World Records as youngest documentary presenter on Wildlife, of course. <laughs> That's, that's amazing. <laughs> ah, but what can I do? 
do besides cooking. <laughs> Frittata, I think our favorite file is forgetting who she really is. Potato Chill, remember what Anishwar told you about chickens? Yeah, that I'm a super pooper? Well, that, and you've got... Shh. Do you hear that? Hear what? My oral sensors detect Frittata's stomach. Someone skipped breakfast. No, someone's in trouble. Mm. <gasps> well, I don't see anything with my nearsighted eye. Help me. But my farsighted eye spots something on circuitry. Is it a bird? I love birds. It's an inchworm. Stuck in tree sap. Help, I can't feel my legs. Oh, dear. Oh, hey there, little buddy. Aren't you cute? Thanks. Oh. <laughs> and tender. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? And oh, so delectably tasty. No. I can't watch. Initiating chicken neutralizer in three, <laughs> two. <laughs> Normally, heroes do not eat the ones they are trying to save. Right, Rocket Pants. This tiny worm is so sweet and pure. Just like Anishwar's baby chick, Reggie. I gotta save it. Here, let me get you out of there. Thank you. Uh, okay. Phew, that was close. Super groove, move, tater girl. Connecting with that tiny critter and protecting it. <laughs> well, you've got a big heart. That's what I was gonna say. Well, it did feel pretty good. You're a true protector, and you know the word protector actually means hero. Really? So you mean I don't have to fly at the speed of light or see through walls to be nature's superhero? Nope, a small action can have big results. Connect and protect. Ah! Whoa, chicken, mind, blow. There's no other planet like Earth. It's an amazing creation. A living inspiration. There's no other planet like Earth. Creatures glide through the air. So much life everywhere. It's a world of dazzling miracles right before my eyes. Now I see that every living thing is like a superhero in disguise. So let's connect and protect. Let's conserve what we observe and treat the planet with respect. Let's connect and protect. Put our superpowers together, no telling what we can expect when we connect and protect. Yes, connect and protect. Yes, connect. Uh, connect and protect. You know, Potato, this whole planet is a super power party. And the party's just getting started. Circuitry, ready to time twist Anishwar back into the future? I'm always ready. Time twister portal opening in three, two, one. Okay, Anishwar, do you know what time it is? Game time! Yes, it's game time! This game is called Animal Superpowers. I'll name an animal, and you say what its superpower is. Here's the first animal, a dog. Well, they are very loyal and have a perfect sense of smell. An elephant. Have a long trunk and are the largest land animal in the world. Well, a bee. A bee, perfect at pollinating and a super painful sting. Ouch. A whale. Long living and super tough. And last, but certainly not least, a falcon! Falcon, super fast speed and perfect eyesight. Anishwar, can you give a hopeful message to the kids who are listening and watching right now? Well, this is my motto. Save the animals and make sure the Earth looks beautiful. Yeah! Anishwar's the best. He truly cares for all living things. Sounds like someone I know. Who? You. you. Potato, you've been using your big heart superpower to care for others since you were a baby chick. Feeding, fixing, and protecting. Uh, nope, we did not need to see that. Let's move on. Oh, thanks, circuitry. 
Well, I guess it is time to end the show. A big thank you to Anishwar for time twisting to 2050 and telling us all about animal superpowers, including my own. Hey, want to head outside for more connecting and protecting? Affirmative. Planet protectors unite. Engaging turbo thrusters. Whoa! Whoa, rocket pants. Whoa! Disengage, disengage. Super potato, I need you. I'm on my way to save the day. I mean, egg. Future. And remember, keep it positive, let it positive.